Hey guys, it's me, Kale. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a little bit of brush cleaning and showing you how I clean my natural hair brushes mostly. I got over on Morphe's page on Instagram and there were several people talking about how they couldn't clean their white haired brushes without them looking all crazy once they dry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, guys, we're gonna try to get this underway. I'm gonna show you the product that I use to clean my brushes. She's been very used. It's the Gender Bender by um, Perfectly Posh. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in getting some of this. This is what I clean all of my brushes with. I also use one of these little silicone pads and I just place it down at the bottom of my sink. Put on a little bit of warm water. I don't go all the way cold and I don't go all the way warm. And I just go ahead and get my brush wet and with a, a pea, I cut that bar of soap down in several pieces and I place that bar soap throughout my house. The soap means business. It does several things. If you'll Google it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. There's, there's so much more to this soap than to just being a brush cleaner. And this is all I do. I get them good and soapy, run them across that pad a few times, rinse them out. If it still needs more, I'll do it again. And I'll repeat this until my brush is completely cleaned. If you guys haven't tried out Perfectly Posh, Perfectly Posh has got some really good products for the skin. I was hooked on Lush for a long time and then I got a hold of some Perfectly Posh. And now I guess you can say I'm hooked on them. You, you might have heard me mention it before in some of my other videos. This is the Morphe M39. No, this is the Morphe 439 that I'm cleaning my foundation brush. I will show you guys. All I do is squeeze out all the water, give her a little bit of a fluff and lay her down on a towel. I'll do a little bit of demo. This is the Morphe brush cleaner. Oh, I had some chunk down in it. Let me get them out. You can tell she's been well used. I'll, I'll show you. This is the Morphe M433. She's good and dirty. Get it good and soapy. Rinse her out. Now that was black eyeshadow I did a tutorial with. Just pat some of that water out of it to see if she's clean and she needs a little more. This is the Morphe brush cleaner. Let's see. Where are we? Oh, there we are. That's what she looks like. Now I'm going to take some of this Posh with the same brush. M433. She's got black shadow on her. This, I used these brushes in some of my last tutorials. See there? That brush is basically already cleaned. I'm going to go back and redo this other brush. That Morphe stuff, I bought that and I was not a fan of. You may be, but 
for on about the same price. Get something that don't you don't have to work with as much near as much. And this is just how I do all of my brushes. You go to good deep clean on them. I probably deep clean my brushes about every other week, every three weeks. I don't know, it just really depends how much I'm using them. But you do want to deep clean your brushes often because it'll help cut down on any breakouts or anything you may have. You've got skin issues going on. This, this posh though, Ginger Bender, it really cleans these natural bristles out really well with little or no work. I was over on Morphe's page on Instagram. There were several people asking how to clean those white goat hairs. And with the right soap, they clean very easy. You can get one of these pads over on Amazon or eBay. I don't think I gave, I probably paid under five bucks for it. If you guys want to look into getting one if you don't already own one, I love mine. It really helps scratch out all the little dirty bristles. This soap, this posh soap, also has a, leaves a good smell on your brushes. It also leaves your brushes conditioned. I've seen a lot of people on that page saying that their bristles were cracking off. If your bristles are cracking off, it's because your brush no longer has any conditioner on it. Especially these white goat hair brushes. All right, guys, I got y'all back over at my vanity, and I'm going to show you my next step when I clean in my brushes. Now, my big foundation brush, I'll just brush it off and just lay it to the side by itself. All right, now, two things you can do. First, order of business you want to make sure that most of all of the water is stamped out of these brushes and you'll see how that brush is kind of wonky the bristles are all over the place I put mine in one of these and I just lay it to the side that these brush guards help keep your bristles together that way when they dry they're not all over the place I got these little my concealer brushes I just do them like my foundation brush I don't put one on them but see like these natural hair bristles how they're just everywhere that's the M433 by the way I just slip it down in one of these lay it down now these brush guards I got them off of uh, maybe Amazon or eBay I probably paid under five bucks for them and I got a good size bag of them if you guys want to look that up I'll see if I can't find them and leave them linked down below but 
See how that brush is just crazy? That's the M510. I'll show you guys once it's dried on how they work. If you can't get a hold of a brush guard, you can take a piece of toilet paper and open it up. I know this is janky, but trust me. It works. Open it up. If I didn't buy cheap toilet paper, we might well get a whole piece in one. Anyway, you take it, lay it down. Let me get some of these brushes out the way. Lay your brush in it and just roll it up. The tighter you're going to get this, the better your bristles are going to look once it's dried. I'm going to I'm going to uh, leave this just like that. And when we undo it, I will show you guys the difference in the two, the brush guard and the toilet paper. This the same brush, the M433. But so you guys can see what kind of job the toilet paper will do. Some of my brush guards are long, some of them are short. I mean, I don't, I just go through and pick randoms. I, I think I ordered two different cons, two different times. Why I got two different guards. But you know, over time you just need new ones. And I didn't throw out my old ones. I actually used some of those longer ones for bigger brushes. But they're all the same, guys. All right, I'm going to let these brushes dry and All right, guys, I'm thinking that we're probably good and dried now. We're going to start I'm going to show you how these brush guards really work my brushes aren't frayed out as if you would have just left them laid out and dried this is the m510 see it looks like it's brand new like it just came out from being unboxed flat shader this is the m44 m433 this was the one in the brush guard. This is the one in the, the toilet paper. See? They look just like if they would have been unboxed. Nice, clean. They're not frayed all over the place. What's this one? M513. And they look just like if I would have just unboxed them. And that's pretty much it, guys. This is my big, long, fluffy that I like to go to. She cleans up nice every time. And that's it, guys. All right, that's it for me, guys. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video.